direction. What do you need? You to what? step out of the vehicle. What is your probable cause? We have reasonable suspicion. She saw you what? placing a black bag by the door, you so we're gonna have to conduct bag? investigation. You sunglasses bag. It has an Oakley O on it. I know you saw. It. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So step out of the car. We have to okay. check your car. We have reasonable suspicion. For what? I just told you. Y'all are just making up something. Okay. Turn your head that way, cause I'm about Don't to break your window. Don't break my window. Don't do it. Okay. Well, you're not listening. Break my window. Are you out to replace it? No. We, well, we gave you clear instructions as to why and what we were asking you to do. There's no PC here. Did you not hear what I said? There's two seconds no ago? probable. Did you not hear what I said? Uncover your camera. Did you not hear what I said a few seconds There's ago? There's no probable cause okay. here at all. Why don't you look for that black bag you saw first? It's across the way. Thank you. Yeah. As soon as. Um, I hear something on that car, the car door or the part, uh -huh. either or, I will call you. On October 25th, 2019, around 12.42 a.m., Alamo Heights Police received a 911 call for a welfare check regarding a woman sleeping inside her car. Officer McKinney and Corporal Torres arrived and made contact with Ms. Davis. They noticed she placed a black bag between her door and the driver's seat. The officers asked Ms. Davis to step out of the car and identify herself, which she rightfully refused. Why can I not just go? Because you are being detained for an investigation. For why? Because you got called in. This is a HEB. This isn't public property. You're asleep on their property. I here and I fell asleep. I understand. This is private property. Okay, you were called in. You need to identify yourself first off. Go ahead. That would eliminate a lot of this. Juliet Fox. Because if we have to break your window to get you out, that's what we're going to do. Are you serious? Yes. Tell her to break my window to get you Absolutely. Because you're not identifying and you're not getting out. This is the last time I'm going to ask you. This wasn't a traffic stop, nor was a traffic infraction observed. And most importantly, the vehicle was not being operated at the time. The caller only wanted Ms. Davis to leave and not pursue a criminal trespass warning. So she didn't need to identify. This was a welfare check, which are generally considered a consensual encounter unless officers believe there's immediate danger or aid is necessary. Instead of de-escalating the situation and requesting Ms. Davis to leave, the officers found a way to take mere suspicion and force it into probable cause that did not exist. According to the incident report, the officers wanted Ms. Davis to exit the vehicle to investigate the suspicious activity of the black bag. I am the supervisor. There is no other supervisor. No, there is not. Okay, well, we're going to have to break your window. So you can either... You can do... So are you going to open your door or are we going to break your window? Now, you can reach over here and you can open the door. Everything's being recorded right now. Anyway. Yeah. It doesn't get edited. How do we know? Because it doesn't. What, what it's public record. Do we need, here? We need you to identify yourself. Oh, hold on, let me... If you identified yourself with an ID or a driver's license. Well, I have my hands on the wheel. Where is your ID or your driver's I'm license? Following direction. Where is your ID or your driver's Where's license? My purse. Like Where's your purse? Officer McKinney. Where's your purse? Over there. Can you reach it? Not with my hands on the Where is over there? Because I don't see a purse. I don't see a purse. Well, what do you want? Can you find it? No, that's what I'm asking. Where is your purse? Or you can give us your real name and this your date of birth. My real name? This yeah. is my real car. This is my real... What's your birthday? She already came over the radio. I what is your birthday? Why she said it didn't because I heard it. What is your birthday? Huh? What is, I'm asking you, what is your birthday? Do y'all really need all this? Yes, we do. Because why? Because I'm in a car? You're going to go to jail. Under threat of arrest, she verbally identifies to both officers who still wanted her to exit the vehicle. Despite Miss Davis offering to leave, the officers insisted she was not free to go. After further disagreement about leaving the vehicle, Corporal Torres found a need to escalate matters. I'm being very clear. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying either step out of the vehicle or we will break the window. Okay. Turn that way. Then, then step Turn that way. What do you need? To step out of the car. No. We are conducting an investigation. What do you need? 
you to step out of the vehicle. What is your probable cause? We have reasonable suspicion. She saw you placing a black bag by the door, so you we're going to have to conduct bag. investigation. You sunglasses bag. It has an Oakley O on it. I know you saw it. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So step out of the car. I don't step have out. Anything illegal. We don't know that. I'm telling you. Okay. If you don't have anything illegal, then we'll be done. We have to okay. check your car. We have reasonable suspicion. For what? I just told you. Y'all are just making up something. Okay. Business. Turn your head that way because I'm about don't to break your window. Break my window. Don't do it. Okay. Well, you're not listening. Step out of the car. What is wrong with y'all? In the incident report, Corporal Torres stated due to her furtive movements and reasonable suspicion, he broke the car window and pulled the subject out of the vehicle. Well, that was a big mistake. Unfortunately for Ms. Davis, both the front and back seat windows were broken, and Officer McKinney began to unlawfully search the vehicle. Why did you break my window? Are you going to replace it? No. We, well, we gave you clear instructions as to why and what we were asking you to do. There's no PC here. Did you not hear what I said? There's no ago? probable. Did you not hear what I said? Uncover your camera. Did you not hear what I said a few seconds There's ago? There's no probable cause okay. here at all. in Iraq deployed to look no out for, for all of us no here in the U.S. Here. He says that has no relevance, but I'm just a just a regular citizen, mm -hmm. a good person. I don't break any laws. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do anything. Single mom. He's an Eagle Scout. He's at the grocery store. did no PC I don't know what's going on thank you camera for being alive this is officer I don't see his name can I see your name oh corporal oh what was it thank you Taurus Taurus Jay Taurus You got called into us. We didn't come looking for you. I got called into you Yeah, somebody called you in. Because they were worried about I me? I guess so. That's what Officer McKinney said. This is how y'all treat people that are y'all are worried about? God, I hate to be worried about. <laughs> oh, my God. refuse to get out of the car and we give you plenty of reasons why and plenty of chances. I didn't have to get out of the car. She told me that just to ID myself and I did ID myself. You did? Yeah. 
I did. You were there. Well, you, you did yourself to me. She was here before I got here, and you didn't what, ID to her. What is that? What's the point? You didn't ID to her first. You ID to I me. I have to ID to. I ID to y'all. And we explained to you what? I don't. That, that's we all don't I know who you are. Do. We don't know who you are. That's all I needed to do. Are you going to let me speak, or are you just going to want to do all the talking? Well, because you're not making any sense. She told me if I well, ID if you myself, don't cut me off. I could go. And I did ID myself to both of y'all, and all of a sudden we're back to breaking windows. And what did we say after that? After I, you I identified don't yourself? I I don't know why I even ID myself if we're back to breaking windows. What did we tell now you? Now she's in my property. What did we tell you why we needed you to get out of the car? Why did y'all ask me to ID myself? Are you just going to rifle through my purse exactly. anyway? Don't answer the question. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. We told you. There's no sense here. You. Don't try to make sense out of okay. it now, officer. Well, I'm fine. This is reverse engineering. Officer McKinney's search of the vehicle came up empty while Corporal Torres suffered multiple cuts to his right hand from breaking the car window. Ms. Davis was eventually released and cited for failure to identify, which was later dismissed. Lieutenant Prout of the Alamo Police Department offered to repair the car window and up to replacing the door if need be. An internal affairs complaint was filed and sustained, citing multiple policy violations. Corporal Torres was demoted one rank and suspended for three days. Officer McKinney was suspended for one day, and both officers are required to attend additional arrest, search, and seizures training. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next video.